In today's video, we're going to take a look at Oak Tree Specialty Lending Corporation, ticker OCSL. This is the fourth video that's a part of my portfolio series where I'm doing an in-depth analysis of all 31 stocks currently in my own portfolio. If you're new to my channel, my primary focus is on income investing and also dividend growth investing with holdings that offer at least a 4% yield. As I'll say in every video, this series isn't done in any particular order. So just because this video is fourth in this series does not mean that this is my fourth favorite stock or my fourth largest holding. Also note that because I own all of these holdings, I am biased towards them, so do your own research before making any investment decision for yourself. Also, let me know if there's any improvements to this series that I can make going forward. Feel free to check out last week's video, which was on VG Properties, ticker VICI. So logging into my Vanguard account, which is where I do all my dividend investing, as of the making of this video, I currently own 253.213 shares of OCSL stock. Oak Tree currently pays quarterly dividends, with their last being for $0.55 cents per share. Unfortunately, they don't pay special dividends on a regular basis, although they just recently did back in January. With the number of shares that I own of OCSL, I currently receive roughly $139.26 in dividends each quarter. Or divided by 3, which is what I like to do, that comes out to roughly $46.42 a month in dividends from this stock. Oak Tree is a specialty finance company that's dedicated to providing customized one-stop credit solutions to companies with limited access to public or syndicated capital markets. They seek to generate current income and capital appreciation by providing companies with flexible and innovative financing solutions that include first and second lien loans, unsecured and mezzanine loans, and preferred equity. Oak Tree invests in companies across a wide range of different industries that typically possess resilient business models with strong underlying fundamentals. Oak Tree is structured as a business development company and they were founded back in 2007. Right now, according to Google, their stock currently offers a huge dividend yield of about 11.7%. For almost the last three years, this company's been able to grow their dividend almost every single quarter. You can see in March of 2020, OCSL was paying 26 cents per share in dividends, whereas today they now pay 55 cents per share. In January, this company announced that they were going through a reverse stock split, meaning that for every three shares of this stock that you own, you would now own just one share. This doesn't mean that shareholders lost any money or any of your ownership percentage in this company. The share price of a stock performing a reverse stock split goes up to correlate with the change in the number of outstanding shares. There's a few reasons why companies will do reverse stock splits. My theory is that I think OCSL did this because they wanted their share price to increase and thus become more attractive to analysts. Some financial institutions won't rate a stock that's trading for less than $10 per share, and since these firms' ratings can have a big impact on a stock's performance, I personally think this explains why Oak Tree Specialty Lending did this. Some companies like Annalee Capital Management or Orchid Island Capital will do reverse stock splits because their share price is tanking so much. But that definitely was not the case for OCSL. The story behind this company is a little interesting, and I've talked about it before in past videos. But Oak Tree is a pretty different company today compared to what they were back when they first launched. You can see when this company first had their IPO in 2008, it started at around $11 per share, and for a few years it fluctuated in share price. But starting in late 2012, this company started going downhill, both in share price and dividend distributions. It continued all the way until about 2019 when Brookfield, which is a large Canadian asset manager, stepped in and acquired 61.2% of this company. Once Brookfield took over in September of that year, you can see the share price for this stock rose by over 40% up until 2022 when the whole market started to fall. Just based upon looking at this stock's overall share price performance since their IPO, I'd probably be a lot more hesitant to invest in a company with this kind of drop. As of right now, it's currently down about 49% since its IPO. But since we know about Brookfield entering the company and taking it over and doing a much better job in managing it, it doesn't make me concerned about owning this stock at all. The stock actually used to pay monthly dividends up until 2017, which is really unfortunate. It would be nice if they could go back to issuing monthly dividends again someday, but ultimately it's a company's performance that's a lot more important than whether or not it pays a monthly or a quarterly dividend distribution. As of December 31st, this BDC had $2.6 billion in investments, which are spread across different types of assets including first lien, second lien, unsecured debt, equity, and joint ventures. In total, they have investments in 156 different companies. OCSL says their goal is to generate current income first and then followed by capital appreciation. This is usually the case for most business development companies. Their investments are usually in non-sponsored companies that have unique needs, complex business models, or specific business challenges facing them. One impressive metric for OCSL is that they currently have no investments that are on non-accrual status. This means that every single company that Oak Tree Specialty is investing in, all of them have been able to meet their obligations to pay the interest that they owe on their debt. It attests to how well management's been able to decide on who they should lend money to. Other business development companies like Al Rock currently do have at least a couple non-accruals in their portfolio, although a BDC can still maintain its dividend and still pay it out just fine, as long as there aren't too many on non-accrual status. 
Their investment portfolio is well spread out among different industries. You can see that software actually makes up a pretty big percentage of their overall portfolio at 16.5%. IT services, financial services, and pharmaceuticals are their next biggest sectors. I like how they don't invest in some of the riskier types of companies, including those involved with crypto, and they don't invest heavily in companies in cyclical industries like energy. According to their website, their portfolio consists of 87% floating rate loans. This is the primary reason why OCSL has been able to grow their dividends so much recently. Companies that hold a lot of floating rate loans like Oak Tree Specialty Lending, Alrock, and Aries Capital have been collecting more interest income during periods of high interest rates. Companies that don't hold a lot of floating rate loans or don't hold any floating rate loans at all like Broadmark Realty haven't been benefiting from interest rates rising so much. Despite interest rates being so high, it hasn't slowed this company down in terms of lending out more money. According to their latest investor presentation, they made 18 new investments in the fourth quarter of 2022. Seven investments were made in companies that already had an ongoing relationship with them, and 11 companies successfully ended their partnership with Oak Tree. In their most recent highlights, their net asset value did shrink by a pretty sizable amount compared to what I'd like to see, but it was mostly attributed to a special dividend that Oak Tree issued. It was the first special dividend issued by this company since Brookfield entered the picture. Their current dividend coverage is at 111%, which is great, although it's down slightly from their previous quarter. For 11 consecutive quarters, Oak Tree Specialty Lending has been able to grow their dividend distributions. It varies from quarter to quarter, sometimes they grow it by a few cents, and sometimes they'll only grow it by less than a penny. But it's still growth, which is good for any high-yielding investment. In addition, OCSL also has a great insider ownership percentage. According to Finviz, it says that company insiders own 4.98% of all their outstanding shares. This is much higher than average compared to other BDCs including Aries Capital, Main Street Capital, and Alrock who don't have an insider ownership percentage this high. A high insider ownership percentage is a good sign that the board and the other internal managers of a company are really confident in their stock's ability to deliver solid returns. If the people who know the company the most intimately are big shareholders, then it's a pretty good sign. It's obviously not a guarantee the company will do well, but it's just another good thing to look for in a stock. In summary, OCSL has been able to deliver some pretty solid high dividend growth up to this point. They're one of a handful of BDCs that have been able to grow their dividends over the last year. According to Sovereign Wealth Fund Institute, they're currently the 13th largest BDC in the industry, which makes them on the higher end of the spectrum. With their dividend growth along with their dividend coverage, their solid investment portfolio, and considering their transformation, they become one of my favorites in this industry. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you're interested, feel free to check out my Patreon where you'll find an Excel sheet of all of my holdings updated monthly. You'll also have the option of reading this analysis as well as every other analysis that I do in this series. Plus, it'll give you access to our Discord channel where we discuss higher yielding types of investments. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, then feel free to hit that like button below and click subscribe if you want to see higher yielding investing strategy content. Again, thank you all so much for watching today's video and until next time, take care.